Okay, at this point we are ready to make the BOE bot move. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to get some experience writing a program to actually what we call retesting the servos. Before we just had the servos kind of sitting on the bench, so we did like clockwise, counterclockwise. Well now they're actually on a robot platform and so we want to have it move forward, back, <clears throat> spin left, spin right. The key to this is that the front is over here. So it's a way it's near the prototyping area and the you can always remember the back is where the <clears throat> battery pack plugs in. So back for the batteries. Uh, that's going to become important because if you want to go forward, <clears throat> you have to take the left motor and turn it counterclockwise. Remember that's sending a pulse, a high pulse of 1501 to 1700 microseconds. And you need to send the right servo, uh, you have to turn it clockwise. And that's when you send something from 1300 to 1499. And that works to move it forward as long as you installed the servo so that you can access the potentiometer from the front. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's write an Arduino program to actually get this thing to move. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is bring up a new Arduino sketch. And the first thing that I always wanna do is I wanna save it. So we'll go ahead and say file save and <clears throat> we'll put this in the our Arduino folder where we've been working so Arduino and we'll go in here and we'll call it uh, this is chapter 3 activity 2 and this is retest servos okay so now we're sitting here and we're ready to go so let's walk through the entire thing from start to finish just to give us a good review of, of how to get this started so we're in uh, before our void setup what we want to do is we want to include a few things so we well actually we want to include one major thing and that is going to be the Arduino servo library <clears throat> when you type this in remember that uh, as you get a keyword right, it'll turn a different color. So if I would have had a lowercase s there, notice how it stayed black. So I, ne I needed to have a capital S there and it turned orange and I know that that is the correct syntax, okay? <clears throat> so we've attached or we've included that. And then what we immediately have to do is we have to create two instances of this library, <clears throat> okay? One is gonna be used to control the left servo, one will be used to control the right servo. So you do that, you create these instances by saying servo, keyword, and then we give it a name. <clears throat> and the name, I'm gonna call my servo left, servo left, and I'll capitalize the F, or excuse me, <laughs> the L. And then we will do servo right, and that will allow you to have two instances of that library. Okay, so this is great. We've got them in there, and now let's go ahead and go into our setup, uh, our setup portion, and we're going to, we're going to connect these things or attach them immediately. <clears throat> but I always <clears throat> set up the serial monitor because I want to be able to print messages to tell myself where I'm at in my program. So let's go ahead and do serial.begin, and let's set up our serial port or UART at 9600 baud and then let's go ahead and attach our left servo and what I want to do here is I'm going to use the I'm going to use my instance name so this is the name that I created and I go dot attach and now I'm going to give it the pin number and remember we're going to move the left servo to pin 11 so I go ahead and I put it on pin 11 and then I'll do servo right and I'll attach that and that one's still at pin 12. So at this point I have the two, <clears throat> I have everything that I need here and I'm ready to actually start moving them around. Okay so here we go. Let's start uh, by moving it forward. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write to the screen, to the serial monitor, and I'm gonna say stop the servos for one second. And I'll go ahead and do that. And you say, well, why do you do that immediately? Uh, what it does is when you download, sometimes you download and you need just a second to go ahead and unplug the USB cable and, and get it situated. So it just avoids you having to you know, race over and have it in position when you download it. So it's not a big deal, uh, but I always like to give myself a second or two of it just sitting still so before it starts moving. <clears throat> so let's let's do this because it'll actually remind us of how to send commands to it. So I'm going to go servo left and I'm going to use my right microseconds 
function. Remember that if we send 1500 microseconds, that is the stay still. Okay, so that's right there is going to make it stay still. And then I copy and paste. You're going to do a lot of copying and pasting. So control C and control V. Uh, now I'm going to do the same thing to the right servo. And that right there should just send those signals and it'll stay going forever until I send it a different one. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do a delay just to get used to putting the delay in there. So let's go ahead and put a second delay. Okay. Now at this point, nothing is going to happen, but I do want to go ahead and download this and make sure that my, uh, I want to make sure that my, let's see here, got an error, it says it's not servo right. Okay, so it's not finding this keyword. So what I need to do is I need to go back to where I defined it uh, and see what's going on. So I have servo, oh, servo reft, <laughs> servo right. Okay, so we found a little error there, fixed it, no problem. Let's go ahead and pop this thing in. And the first thing I want to do is I want to bring up my serial monitor. So while that's downloading, I'll go ahead and bring that over and put that on the screen. And this should... Okay, great. So servos... Stop the servos for one second. Okay. Now, here's what you're going to see. The Arduino, or the robot, is not moving. <clears throat> But look at what happened to the LEDs. They're dim. And this is great. So that's why we left them on there because we can see that we're actually sending it the signal. So I'm saying, okay, I'm, I'm for sure sending it the, uh, the stay still signal. So that's good. All right. So this is great. Uh, let's go ahead now and let's move it forward. And let's move it forward for one second. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a lot of copying and paste here. So I'm going to do a control C on this entire thing. And I'm going to come down here, and just so I can separate it in my code, I'm going to put a big stretch of uh, line comments, and then we will paste it. Okay, now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go move forward for one second. Okay, so now I got to remember how do I move forward? Well, if you move forward, what you got to do is you got to send something above 1500 to the left servo in order to get it to spin if you can't remember let's go you can go back to your slides and you can say okay counter or we need the left to go counterclockwise so 1501 to 1700 so now what I've got here is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put something above 1500 now how much should we put? Let's just put a little bit. Let's not go ahead and max it out at 1700. Let's just put like 1550 so that it goes really slow so it just doesn't take off. <clears throat> and then this will be great. We can actually test it without disconnecting the USB. Okay. And then for the right, we got to turn that one what? We got to turn that clockwise. <clears throat> and that one will be, I need to send it something less than 1500. So let's just send like 1450. Okay, so this is going to be just for clockwise, and this will be counterclockwise. And then we're going to delay. Now, here's what's going to happen. This will send it, and it'll keep sending that signal. The way that these work is it's going to send a signal, and it's going to stay there. Uh, it's going to continue to send that signal. So this delay right here doesn't actually bias much. Uh, other than if we had a command after it. So what I want to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and bring down my stop and I'm going to paste it right here and then we'll download this and let's let's then make sure that it moves forward and then it stops. So at this point right here it'll actually stop. So And all I did was copy and paste it and I can kind of keep that track in my head by doing this line comment. Okay, so let's test this out. So I go ahead and do that. I'm going to download it and I'm going to give myself a little bit of cable room over here. So I've got kind of a loop of cable <clears throat> and that'll allow it to actually move. And <clears throat> we're off and running. Okay. So now we're ready to actually move, but I got to make sure that I plug in my battery. Okay. So I got to plug this battery in and it's more than just plugging it in. I need to turn the power switch to two. So at this point, these guys are ready to go. Okay. So now all I need to do is hit reset on this and we'll see if it goes. So now when I hit reset, it should say stop and it worked. Look at that. It's moving along. Now this is fantastic. Okay. So we have this thing working. Everything's great. Uh, interestingly enough, my right wheel is turning. 
so just ever so slightly I need to actually put a screwdriver there and I and recalibrate that thing but we'll just we'll let it sit there for a while okay so I've tested it going forward let's go ahead and test it going uh, backwards so I'm gonna copy not only move forward and stop I'm gonna cop I'm gonna copy both of those or move forward and stop and now I'm right here and so what I'm gonna do is I copy and paste that and I want to go move re reverse for one second and if you remember here all we do is reverse these commands or these things and what we want to do is we want to send the left one clockwise and the right one counterclockwise I'll update my comments and this is really good because you're going to reuse this over and over so it's good to get your comments in there correctly uh, and then we're going to stop okay so all right that's good so let's go ahead and see <clears throat> if that is going to work so I download that and I got my little thing in there and I got myself some cable here so I don't have to disconnect so when it downloads <clears throat> moves forward moves back fantastic okay this is great so that works now the only thing really left to test is uh, maybe turning so why don't we go ahead and we'll grab this we're gonna copy and paste and now we're going to turn so let's let's spin right okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go spin right, and when I say spin right, I'm, I'm going to send my left servo forward and my right servo backwards, okay? So what I need to do is I need to come in here, and these are going to be the opposite. So I'm going to make this forward, and that's going to be counterclockwise, <clears throat> counterclockwise, and then I'm going to send the right one counterclockwise. So now this is going to go forward, and this is going to go backwards, and while we're here, why don't we just go ahead and copy and paste that and do test a left spin. So I'm going to paste that down there and I'm going to go ahead and go spin left for one second and on this one I need to send the opposite instructions or the opposite pulses so I want the left one to go backwards and the right one to go forward and stop. Alright so now this is it I have I have everything ready to go here and let's see I've got myself enough cable so that it can move around and I can don't have to worry about it do anything there we go stop forward back that was right <clears throat> and that was left okay voila <laughs> we did it and what's cool about it is that you know to rerun the the program remember that we're in the setup uh, we're in the setup loop so you can just hit reset and it'll go ahead and do the exact same thing again it's so forward back right left and that's that's it okay so at this point why don't you go ahead and do that so get create a new sketch mess around with uh, <clears throat> making it go and make sure that you can move forward, move backwards, and the whole time, you know, spin left, spin right, and the whole time, make sure that uh, <clears throat> that you print a message to the serial monitor so that you can actually see where you are in your program. Okay, so go ahead and, and pause the video and do that.